Hello everyone, welcome to the first Bludgeon Brawl MTG stream ever, in fact. I am Matt, and I am here to uh, play a little bit of Gishath Sun's Avatar um, for us today in Brawl. Uh, so, the deck itself... Um, I compiled a couple different lists, you know, looked at them, looked at what I wanted to put together and put it together uh, pretty well, I think. I played a couple test games yesterday, about four or five of them, um, and, you know, it's, it's relatively what you would expect. There's a lot of dinosaurs in here. Um, there's a couple mana ramp spells, um, Lifecrafter's Bestiary is really actually super helpful with the scry effect especially um and then we have whatley as our planeswalker um just to give us a little extra something and also some additional dino tribal um some cards of note in particular that have been super good actually um so far have been lifecrafters bestiary uh, that's been really nice uh sweltering suns has actually done a lot a uh, three mana somewhat board wipe has actually been super useful especially um, when I'm trying to clear the board before playing Gashath or Zakama. And speaking of Zakama um, Zakama has been absolutely nuts in this deck so far um, a lot of the times I will actually wait it, it depends but a lot of the times I will wait and I will play Zakama first and then with the free mana up um, I will play Gashath and I will be able to get in some some really nasty beats so just so you guys know, with Gashath, uh, Vigilance, Trample, Haste, whenever Gashath deals combat damage to a player, I reveal that many cards from the top of my library, and I put any number of dinosaur creature cards from among them onto the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of my library in any order. Uh, so that effect is actually <laughs> incredibly powerful. Um, of all the games that I have played so far, um, a lot of them have sort of... Um, ended uh by the time i was able to really do anything there um people would see it i would get the trigger and then all my dinosaurs would come from the top of my library and then people would scoop <laughs> so i'm hoping that maybe happens uh today it was it was pretty satisfying to be able to cast and then just basically win almost uh so we'll see so we're gonna do a nice little league and a 1v1 league in particular, and we're gonna see how we do. So let's go to the leagues. I'm gonna play Brawl, uh, 1v1 friendly league. Let's pop this open. Let us join, volume two, submit, and use 80 play points to get this one going. And let's play our first match, everybody. So yeah, I was really happy with this deck. Um, the first iteration that I built was a lot more dino heavy and sort of used creatures to uh, be my removal or be my mana ramp. And it actually didn't end up working out a lot of the time, which was very sad. So I'm very happy that <laughs> this new iteration actually uses um, some spells and stuff to, to mitigate that fact, because otherwise uh, it wouldn't have been super great. Uh, so STR const is out of date, um, as always, it seems. And uh, look at this open hand. Uh, definitely going to have to mulligan this i think thematic compass is nice but we don't have enough mana to actually do anything with so we're gonna mulligan um it's really nothing to cast but i don't want to get rid of it so i think we're gonna keep gift of paradise uh, not great but it will get us closer to thundering spine back i guess i mean worst case we can just um excuse me we can just uh, cycle Desert of the Abominable. Um, I'll put it on top, I think, for now. Let's see what our opponent is playing. They're playing Admiral Beckett Brass. I've seen a lot of Admir Admiral Beckett Brass decks um, so far, and I actually particularly like them a lot. So I'm hoping that sometime in the future I might be playing one of those. Um, I think maybe we want to start with the tap land. Go tapped, forest, plains, and then we'll have enough for... A four drop creature if we draw one? I think that's that is the play. So we'll do that and we'll pass the turn. See what our opponent's gonna do. Hopefully not much. I hope they don't have too too many one two drops. Um so that they don't get the, the nice turn for Admiral Beckert Barassa uh, steal. What is going on? 
Oh, okay. That was an interesting uh, choice. Want a 2 2 at Death Touch, that is fine. Want to clear any blockers. And let's see, we draw another tab land. <laughs> Amazing. Um, though it is actually the only red source I have. So I think we're going to have to go tapped, yeah, and pass the turn. It's an unfortunate starting hand. I'm, <laughs> I'm starting to regret having kept it, unfortunately. Um, but we'll see what happens. All right, they're coming in. Uh, we're going to take it. And that's the end of their turn. All right, well, I can take that. So why don't we... We probably need some blockers, though. Nothing I actually play is... I'm going to probably block from Dire Fleet. So maybe... Autopec, and then next turn Thrashing, and maybe I swing for three? I think that's fair. So let's Autopec. A lot of nice um, cheapening effects through the Huntmaster, and... Um, the other card whose name I'm forgetting, but basically does the same thing, but a little bit different. Um, it's been very useful in making sure Gishath gets out um, relatively uh, soon. So we might be playing the long game on this one, <laughs> I, su I suspect. Um, all right, well, this is going to be a problem, but at least we'll have a blocker so they can't just attack us next turn and then immediately Admiral and probably steal our creature. That would not be good. Ooh, they're going to Lightning Strike. Unfortunate. Okay. Hmm. We certainly have a problem. So, maybe... Probably just Planes, and then maybe Brontodon to block... Oh, the Dire Fleet. Not that that really helps. We're in, certainly in a pickle, this game. Is it any permanent, or is it just non-land permanents? is non-land permanent. So I could Gift of Paradise on like desert, and then that gives me what, one, two, three, four, five mana, six mana if I play a land this turn. No, sorry, five mana, six mana next turn, and I'm two away, so that's probably not gonna do it. Um, I could still play Gifts and then Drover though. I guess that's a play. <laughs> it doesn't feel good, but it's certainly a play. But is Drover going to block Dire Fleet? The answer is no. So I think actually we undo that. Yeah, don't feel confident about that line. Um, let's play Thrashing. Because um, I won't feel bad if Thrashing Brontanon dies. I will feel bad if Drover dies because it's one more mana closer to us catching Gashaf. Though there's a chance I might just have to get hit. I would really like a Sweltering Suns and a Mountain, but I don't suspect we're going to get them, unfortunately. I think we're just going to get absolutely blown out. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Um, that's fine. I think I do have to chump because Brass is just going to steal the Captain if I don't. Yeah, unfortunately. I wish they had something I could destroy, but that's the best we're going to get there, I think. Alright, and then let's play the Oasis. Man, this feels bad. <laughs> this feels really bad. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess we're going to have to um, cast gifts. I guess put it on the forest, and then we can tap the forest to play Drover. Um, this is not a particularly great line of play but we're gonna have to do it this might just be a, a a big old loss for us unfortunately but we shall see Ooh, captain lannery storm okay yeah i don't i really don't see how we're getting out of this one <laughs> yeah 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 well, one. This is probably gonna get stolen, so I don't even know why I'm counting it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, uh, so close, but so far that'd be seven. I'd have to draw a land, but I don't. I just don't think we're gonna get there. Might as well block. See if we can stay alive for another turn, and uh, get lucky and draw sweltering suns. I guess. 
maybe. Uh, well, unfortunately not lucky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can play Thundering Spine back, and that's about it. So I think that's the play. Unfortunately. Two green, ba ba ba. And let's get it out here. All right. Um, really not confident about this play at all. I have a feeling it is quite bad, actually. But what are we gonna do? We just really need like a fumigate or something. Anything, any board wipe. Actually, I don't think block that. Three, three. No, that's death. Well, we certainly tried. I don't suspect we're gonna be winning this one. Oof. All right, come on, come on. Swing in, and that's probably gonna be game, right? Yep, yep. Go through the motions, but I think that's, yeah, we're just dead. All right, well, GG's. All right, well, it was a, it was a good attempt at first. So I'm gonna be back uh, really quick, and then I'm, uh, we will be back with some more brawl. All right, sorry about that, folks. Just taking a quick drink break. Let's get right back into our next league match. Hopefully, uh, better than, <laughs> much better than the last one. I hope, though I, uh, I have, I have some concerns. All right, let's join the match, and let's see who we play against. Lost a die roll. So we're on the play, unfortunately. On the draw, rather. And we'll see what happens. Let me update. Uh, really don't like this hand <laughs> at all. Unfortunate. Well, let me update our record while I'm thinking about it. We are unfortunately 0-1, but we will come back, I hope. And we will mulligan. Uh, this looks significantly better. Thank God. Uh, our promise. We play this through. Uh, Traggle Expanse Planes. That's three mana. Four mana. Play Ranging Raptors. Five mana. Our promise. Just for two lands. And then probably Gashath. Who are we playing against? Galta. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, that'll go on top. That's fine. I don't suspect they're going to be able to Galta us on turn three. Or at least I hope not. Though that would certainly be an explosive, uh, an explosive loss. So we shall see. All right. So trunkle expanse and pass the turn, and we'll see what we can do. All right. Force for our opponent. Drew to the cow. Sounds good. Ooh, they updated that on the uh, the formatting on MTGO as well. Very nice. All right. And we draw a cast out. Uh, not great right now, but cast out has actually been quite useful in some of the other games I've played. Uh, I've noticed removal, <laughs> when you're able to get it, always feels quite good. Oh, this is actually a problem though, isn't it? Is, this, is it power? Gold is power, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Oh no. Okay, what does this do? What does that do? When you may pay them, okay, that's fine. I might have to hold up some mana for cast out. Um, that's fine. Like, we can play, because we can play raptors. Um, which is fine. Um, do we Raptors this turn, or do we... Well, it'll stop them from swinging, which is nice, but it won't stop a Galta, unfortunately, and we need the cast-out mana, but we're going to get it from Unclaimed Territory, so maybe Unclaimed, a Dinosaur, and then Green, uh, it's White, play Raptors. Ah, I had four mana here. Ah, a misplay, no. Uh, I still want to be able to cap cast raptors anyway. Um, and then I think that'll stop our opponent from swinging at us at least initially. And then we just need to hold four mana for 
early Galta, but Galta's not that much cheaper right now. It's only, what, three cheaper, so it's still a, a nine drop. But I suspect they're going to play some some silly things if I had to take a guess. Rush car, that's fine. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. This is a cute deck. I like this. They're probably going to attack. It's what? How much cheaper? Oh, no. It's much cheaper now. <laughs> We're getting into danger territory. We need to draw, like, a Sweltering Suns or something. Please. I mean, I guess I... I mean, I guess I just... I prop the cast out, right? I mean, how much do they got? One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine cheaper, which means Galta's a three drop. Does it have an ETB effect, or is it just a 12-12 Trampler? Okay. We... <laughs> we really need, um something here. I think I mean I could and that's only three mana. It's still not good enough. Um yeah I think we hold the cast out up. It's not gonna save us, but it certainly won't hurt us by any means. Um I could attack with the Raptors, but I will not. We'll pass. Hmm we're in a predicament. I am I'm not confident about this at all. But we will have to see. I mean they got they're going to play Galta, right? Like there's no way they're not. They have just they've they can tap out for well. Actually they have more than enough mana cuz they can tap their creatures too. Yeah, no. This is <laughs> this is over. They can still play. Yeah. Man. What a cute deck. You know, sweltering sounds really bad. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Does not have... Oh, no, it doesn't have trample. I could have held the cast out then. But if I wait for them to swing, then they're going to do it anyway. So I might as well just do it now while I know. Cast it. Exile Galta. Maybe I'll get lucky and they won't have their settings set right. A lot of people seem to be having that problem. I don't know. No, they had them right. Good, very good. Alright, so now what can we do? I could Dowsing Dagger, which would be awful. <laughs> um, I mean, I think it's probably we gifts... I mean, actually, I have enough mana for Hour of Promise, so I could just Hour of Promise, and then we... Play, we get two lands and then we play Gashaf next turn. Not ideal, but it will certainly get the job done. So let's hour. Unfortunately, I don't have other deserts because you need three or more. So I would definitely love those two twos. So maybe we go. I definitely need another red mana in case I draw Sweltering Suns. So. I could do probably just a mountain. No, what am I short on? Let me do maybe stone quarry. And... Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm going to play untapped. Do I want to play dowsing dagger? I don't think it's actually going to help at all. Like 0%. But it still might be helpful. Uh, hmm. I don't know if it matters. Probably just Stone Quarry and... Uh, I don't know. Rootbound Crag, maybe? Something like that? Yeah, let's do Rootbound Crag. Oh, hey, Flame Guts. Hello! Nice to meet you. Um, I think that's the play. I think that's all. <laughs> I think that's all we got here. Well, welcome, Flame Guts, to uh, to the stream. Hope you enjoy uh, watching me potentially lose to Galta, Galta Primal Hunger. Um, my hand was okay to start, but it has only the game has only progressively gotten worse as they continue to play uh, cheap things and seemingly beat my face. Um, but we'll see. Galta now costs uh, fourteen. So maybe we're going to get lucky, though I don't suspect, because they definitely can just tap these three and do it. And then that's more than enough mana for them. So we'll 
We'll see what happens. I would love a Fumigate. I would love a Sweltering Suns just to get rid of these guys. I feel like if we Fumigate, we're going to win. Because we Fumigate, kills other stuff, they'll probably cast Galta this turn. And then that'll be that, I think. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, they cast Galta. All right, we're gonna see. We're gonna we're gonna really see what happens, and they're not gonna swing in, which makes sense. So, yes, a stream dedicated to Brawl. I uh, I always wanted to do. Ah, uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I've always wanted to do um, some magic content, and when Brawl came out, it seemed definitely up my alley, because I don't like playing... Normally I play Commander. I don't like playing Commander on MTGO, mostly because it's just... Uh, when you're playing against four people, it's kind of awkward. Um, but this seems fun. One of these days I'm going to do a, a four-player free-for-all stream as well, um, but I figured 1v1 one, one one is less competitive than Commander 1v1 one for Brawl, from what I can tell. So... I don't know. It's been fun so far, so I'm looking forward to it. I wonder... Hmm. I mean, I gotta play the forest, and then... There's really nothing I can do against Galta in terms of destroying it. Hmm. Yeah, I mean... I mean we could just... I mean, we could just get Shaft, and then... See if they swing with Galta, and then if they decide to do that, um, uh, I don't have to block, and then maybe I can get it next turn, but they'll probably keep these guys up, so it'll be interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have just enough. Um, hmm. I don't know if this is a good play, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make this play right now, and we're gonna we're gonna see we're gonna see how it happens. We see how it all shakes out. I'm not confident in this play, but uh, we're certainly going to do it and see what happens. So let's play Gashath, and then let's pass the turn. Uh, actually, no, because if I swing, they're just going to block with Galton. It's going to be useless. Oh, nice! You should, uh, if you have a link to it, link it in the... Uh, Link it in the chat, and I'll definitely check it out. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to... I haven't looked at a lot of Planeswalker uh, things, but I've been interested in them. I, I like Chandra and, and Jaya a lot, so I'll, I'll probably build one of those um, later once Dominaria comes out. But that sounds pretty nice. Ooh, boy. Sky Sovereign. Okay. I'm going to kill Drower. I think we're probably dead in this game. I Unless I get a Fumigate, we're, we're like... We're very dead. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, if Galta attacks, I'll just block with Ranging Raptors just to delay some of the damage. And then... I mean, that's going to be that, probably. Yeah, I'll get a free land out of it. That's what I'll do. Nothing else I can do. Though I can still swing in. It'll kill... Oh, it'll kill my commander, probably, but... I just don't... I'm really not confident that we can win this game now that Galt has been out twice. Really need Sweltering Suns or any removal for Galta. A Fumigate would be excellent. No, we're going to get a Forest. Okay. Well, we're going to make um, the best out of what we got. Uh, maybe I Dousing Dagger. <sighs> Dousing Dagger equipped. Swing in. It doesn't matter because I'm still... I mean, just, you know... All right, let's well, gifts. Let's gifts the. Yeah, I mean, I think I think it's reasonable. The problem is they're going to get two O twos, so the only thing I'm doing is buffing Gashath for damage, which is fine because you want to with the the trigger. But I feel like the buff. All I'd be doing is, yeah. Well, yeah. They're just gonna they're just gonna block, and then with the O2s, it's just not gonna do anything, which is unfortunate. Um, I have Fumigate in this list, so basically, I need to live long enough to get to Fumigate. And once I Fumigate, I think we can definitely win because Gashath's um, combat trigger is ridiculous. It's so good. So if I can get to there, I definitely think we've got a shot. Yeah. Unfortunately, the O2s are certainly an unfortunate brick wall. 
but um as long as i can mitigate enough galta damage maybe it is worth it though because i can attach it to thrashing and then just mitigate some of the galta damage and maybe make myself last another turn but if they swing out i'm probably dead anyway so i don't know <laughs> But if I'm hoping for a Fumigate, it would still work. I don't know. It doesn't seem like a good play, but I'll just do it. Because I'm not going to get in anyway, I don't think, without completely wiping the board. So might as well just throw it out there, equip it to Thrashing, and then block. I think that's the, I think that's the play. Let us equip to Thrashing. Ah, you're no, I forgot. You're right. Oh, no. I wasn't even thinking about the Sky Sovereign. Hmm. Man, you're right. That was a <laughs> that was a bad misplay. Oh, all right. Well, you can't win them all, unfortunately. Um, I mean, we're, we're definitely almost dead if they crew the Sky Sovereign and then swing with everything else. But we'll see. I think we might have one more turn in us, which is all I maybe need, unless they just. No, that's fine. Scavenger Grounds is not the land I thought it was. Um, yep, crew that up. And then they're probably just going to swing in, I'm assuming, right? Like, I think they have lethal on board, maybe. Yeah, they're just going to swing in with those. Heal three damage. They'll probably just bolt me. Oh, they're just going to hit the Ronta. That's fine. Oh, it's too less damage. Yeah. All right. I mean, I gotta block the block Galta, and then we'll see. I could kill Galta, but it's really not. No, it's fine. We'll survive. Uh, if we draw a Fumigate, then we can maybe win. So here's <laughs> here's the hoping. Hmm. I don't know. Do not know about this one. Uh, it's a bestiary, but that won't help us at all. So I think I think we lost this one, unfortunately. Um, I mean, it's worth a swing in, I guess. Let's equip Gashath with the dagger, and then I'm just gonna swing in. Uh, it's four, so it's five. No, not even worth it. No, I think they got it. All right, well, it was a good try, good second game. Uh, would really enjoy if <laughs> I was able to win one of these, but we, we will see. Let me update my record. It's okay. We're gonna... Spell Swindle? Oh, very nice. Oh, <laughs> unfortunately, I am not. I am not running blue, but that seems like a very cute response. Um, I was playing uh, a couple Admiral Beckett Brass. The first game was an Admiral Beckett Brass, and then yesterday when I was testing out this Galta deck, I probably played against three or four admirals, which is, I mean, fair. I I love tribal decks, so I would definitely play that, but. Ooh, that's very cute. <laughs> oh man. I mean I feel like if you get spell swindled when you're when you're casting Galta, you're just like you you're like, alright, I just gave my opponent uh twelve mana and they've got me. So but yeah, I, I would imagine that feels really good. <laughs> <sighs> alright. Let's get into this third match. Mm. Uh, hopefully they're they're playing. Oh, well, hopefully I just draw a nice hand. All my hands so far have been good, but not excellent, unfortunately. So yes, I would like to play first. Uh, got them all again, unfortunately. Oh no, this really isn't good, but I don't want to go to five. So I'm worried that I just won't get anything if I go to five. Uh, but there's, like, nothing to do unless I draw stuff. Hmm. I don't know. Ugh. 
the issue is I definitely, like, Awakening Sun's basically never going to happen. Registrar has a chance to happen if I draw two lands or get any amount of ramp that I can cast for three or less. Uh, and cast out will happen if I draw planes, which will be potentially nice. Who are they playing? Oh, they're, oh hey, Gishath Mir, everybody. Here we go. All right, well, they kept seven cards, which, mean, <laughs> which means we're, we're probably going to have a bad time, but we'll give it a shot. Um, I think I'm going to keep and risk it. Uh, heroic Intervention, probably want that on the bottom as much as I do love that card. Uh, so let's start with the Forest and let's keep going. Alright. Inspiring Vantage, surely. Kinjali's Caller, very nice. Hmm. Threat, well that's something to play on turn 3, so I cannot complain about that at all. Uh, let's play Forest and Pass. And then I'll play the mountain next turn. We'll go into Brontodon. I was thinking about... Kinjali in my list isn't in there right now. Um, but I'm thinking about cutting it for the other one drop. That lets you sack and tutor. Um, just because I think the cheapening effect is probably just better. Uh, ooh, Death Gorge. Um, that might be useful, though. Probably not immediately. Um... I think we'll Death Gorge, though. Why not? Enters, no targets. Not that there will probably be one next turn anyway. And we'll go from there. <laughs> so let's see what they decide to do. Arch wouldn't be a, probably that bad to put in here. Well, hopefully they got mana screwed or something and... <laughs> uh... We're just going to be all right, since it seems like they missed their land drop. I'm going to go Ranging Raptors next, definitely. Maybe they'll swing in and I'll be able to get some stuff. Um, and then, let's combat. Swing for three. They probably won't block it, I would imagine. Yeah, they're not going to. All right, get some, get some damage in there. Get some damage on the board. Hmm. <laughs> All right, oh, the mana screw. I feel so bad. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna beneath the sands. Let's beneath the sands. Let's get a plains, and let's go to combat. Swing with Death Gorge. I will beneath the sands. That yes, swing in for four. Well, you know, this game's going a lot better than the last two games were going, certainly. Um, so getting it for four, I think... I mean, we're going to have to probably Bronte on unless uh, I draw a land, in which case we'll just play Regisar, but... Cast out if there's a problem, but I don't suspect they will be. I think they're just waiting to draw cheaper dinosaurs, which I feel very bad for them about. But we'll see. It's probably... Uh, Let's see what we draw. Ooh. We freeze in on cleanup. What's going on? Opponent. Magic online. What's happened? Oh, there we go. That was odd. Oh, I had to discard. Oh, boy. All right. Well, sorry, opponent. Um, Natali would be nice to play. I don't think we're really going to need to. So maybe we'll swing it for everything. Get rid of the... Yep. And yes, I will exile that. Okay. Get in for five. Alright. Let's get a main, and then I will bront it on for good measure in case they decide to play something. Though I feel like this game is probably over. I feel very bad for our opponent. Um, the first, the first volume, uh, not the first, well, first volume, I've been calling them volumes, but the first iteration of and this Gashath deck definitely had a lot of uh, uh, unfortunate mana screw in it. Um, so this deck has, has been much better. Oh, I feel so bad. They have to discard again. No. I'm so sorry, opponent. You deserved much better than this. Oh, Hotly. Okay. Uh, Hesha Poesis. I'll play that. So we're at five lands. We are quite close to Itali, which would be cute. But... I think I'll go to combat first, then I'll play the alpha. Oh no! 
this one for three extra damage. Oh well. That is fine. Yeah, I will exile that gain to life. Let's see what our opponent does. I doubt they will block anything unless they're really holding out. Nope. And then let's play the alpha. Could have gotten in for three more damage, but it is what it is. You will pass the turn. We have a blocker in case they play anything, but I really don't suspect they will. I feel this is brutal. Maybe they'll maybe they'll draw. Um. Oh no, nope. they're just gonna scoop it up. Well, we won. I feel bad for my uh my opponent, but sometimes that's just how it is in Magic. So let's queue up the next one. See how we're gonna do. You know, I feel like maybe maybe we can go. 3-2. Maybe. I'm hoping. I'd like to come out somewhat positive in this, but we we shall see whether or not that is going to happen. Um, hopefully it does. <laughs> Alright. Ugh. <sighs> All right, who are we playing against? Agalta. Agalta seems very popular today. I can't blame them. It, it feels like a very fun deck to get out as soon as possible. This, I don't, a lot of lands here, but I feel like the turn one commune, and then we just kind of let Timber Gorge be slow because we're going for Forerunner. I think, I think we're gonna keep this. I think it's fine. Find out if our opponent's gonna mulligan. And they are not. Land of War Elves, ooh, very nice. Now that it's legal, a little a little bit early before Dominaria's release, can't blame them for playing it. So let's go Forest, and let's go Commune, and let's see what we get. Um, hmm. The Raptors would be a nice 3 dropped though. We have 3, 4, we could use a 5, because I have enough lands for it. So probably... Raging Sword Tooth. I don't know if it'll help though, because if they have any, nah, there's no way they're gonna have those uh, those kind of effects. We'll go with the Sword Tooth, I think. Uh, just put them to the bottom in any order; doesn't really matter. And then, um, that's my whole turn. So we're gonna pass it over. I like that Land of War rolls out. Very nice. Jade Light Ranger. It's gonna explore. Sure. Oh, and it's a three-two revealed Heart of Kieran. I went to the graveyard, that's fine. Okay. And we got a Polyraptor, so no great turn two plays, but that's fine. We'll have a turn three, a turn four, and a turn five. Um, I have to figure out what I want to tutor for. Um, well, actually, we'll add some mana there, so it'll be a little bit more accelerated. We can figure out what we want to play when we get there. Um, Maybe Registar Alpha is just probably fine. Um, Zakama's too big to tutor for uh, in terms of mana. Um, so we'll see what's what's in here. Uh, Ronus, that's fine. That's going to actually be brutal. This is going to be brutal. I want to draw Sweltering Sun so bad now. No. Same problem we had last time, it looks like. Uh, this deck seems fun, though. I can't, I can't like... Galt is so tempting to run to begin with that I can't really get too upset that I keep seeing them because it is it seems very fun to play. So let's let's see here. And the next turn, if we need to, we can raging sword tooth. Not that it will really do anything, but it's an option. Okay, waiting for our opponent to respond. The old think about Atsukan Seer play. I can't blame him for doing it. Sometimes you gotta you gotta think through the Atsukan Seer. All right, so I think they have enough for Galta already, which is a bad four nine. Yet yeah, they've got more than enough. Oh no, a fumigate would have been nice. Jeez. Uh, how are we going to deal with this? I do not know. 
A Sweltering Suns will not do it. A Fumigate will. Won't get rid of Ronus, unfortunately, though. Hmm. This is certainly a problem. Sorcerer Spyglass? Uh, I mean, I can't do anything, so go for it. I don't have any activated abilities either, so I don't know what card they're gonna... I mean, maybe the name's a Gamma? But that would be weird. They're basically, like... They're gonna win in, like, two, three turns if we don't get a Fumigate, so... I don't know what they want to name. If anything... I mean, we're, we're a dinosaur deck, so there's a couple things. But... The comma does not seem like it's good enough for them to name. Um... Yeah. Naming... Gilded Lotus? Okay, that's fine. They have no idea. I can't blame them. Alright. Here we go. Thanks, opponent, for naming Gilded Lotus. That was... Oh boy. We're gonna take a lot of damage. Um... Is there a point to... Blocking at all? Probably not. Um... So we'll just... We'll take it. We can always block Ronus. Um... Next turn. Uh, we need a Forerunner for something good. Unfortunately, I just don't think we, we're going to have anything to really get. But, I mean, he's definitely a blocker, so that'll be good. Actually, Forerunner into Sword Tooth will wipe these three away. Um, obviously, won't get rid of Galta, but it's not the worst play ever. It's not a great play, though, Unfor unfortunately. Um, well, we'll see what we can tutor for, and then we'll we'll go from there, I guess. Get Forerunner out. Our opponent thinking about it, deciding if they're going to let that resolve with the easier counter spells that they have. And we're going to get on in here. Uh, I would like to use Forerunner's ability. What are we going to get? Let's make this nice, nice and big. Um, Sunwing ain't going to help. I need things I can realistically play. So one, two, three, six. Itali. Um, it has to stay alive long enough. Red Sarafa gets an extra blocker. That's nice. Nurk Spine back isn't that great. Awakening Suns won't help. Carnage Tyrant's just big. We're really in a pickle here. <laughs> I mean, I could get um. Not Death Gorge. Uh, is it ranging? I could get ranging raptors. Next turn we sword tooth, deal two to everything, and wipe, and then I I mean that'll help us get mana. It's not a great play, but it'll help us get mana. Whatever. D none of these plays seem particularly good. Um Probably should have gone with Regisaur there. I don't know. I do not know. Is it the top? Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. Looks like our uh, our three two dream is is not gonna not gonna make it, but we're still gonna try. We're gonna try it through. If I draw a fumigate, maybe it'll work. <laughs> Hopefully. We got a lot of mana though, to be fair. Six, and then they're gonna be swinging in with these definitely. So, quite a pickle. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I do not know what's gonna happen. But we will see. We will see. Our opponent thinking it, thinking through, giving it a giving it a good think here. Um, don't really know. I mean, I get they're just. I mean, they only have one card in hand. I actually don't know what they're doing. Um, but we'll see. We shall see. We shall see. They're thinking it through. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, we definitely need a fumigate or were 
very unfortunately dead, but that's all we really got. I don't know what's taking our opponent so long. They only have one card in hand. Um, unfortunately, while I'm sitting here is <laughs> not great content, but uh, just lets me sit and think about the trouble we're in. Mm. Mm -mm. <sighs> well, we, uh, we shall see. Well, to my viewers, uh, if you have any chat suggestions uh, or deck lists or anything, feel free to throw them in there while we're waiting for our opponent to decide to do something. Um... I'm, I mean, maybe they just like AFK'd or something. Are they disconnected? I don't know. Very odd. <laughs> Very odd and unfortunate. Um, but we'll uh, see what's going on. Hmm. What is happening here, opponent? Uh, maybe I should type in chat. You there, bud? Give him a give him a good old you there, bud. Let's see if he uh he gets back to us. Hopefully he's here. I would I would like him to. Uh, destroy me if it's going to happen, which I suspect it will. I think actually they might have a lethal this turn because swing for 12, swing for 5. So they don't want lethal this turn, but they're going to be darn close to it. Uh, had to get the door. Uh, no worries. What a good lad. All right. Well, let's see what happens. Swings in. Gonna swing with Galta. That is fine. Um, so we block. We take 9, 10. Oh, we take 18 exactly. Oh man. Wow, that really sucks. And we already know what the next card on the top of our deck is. Yeah, no, we're I don't I don't see a way out of this one. Um Let's we'll block Ronus. Ronus will save us 12, 13, 15. Yeah, that sounds about right. And then I can at least white. I mean, it's not. This game's basically done, but we're gonna we're we're gonna see if we can power through it. Perhaps. Um, this Galta deck is ridiculous. I love it. I I, it's, I really like it actually. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Is that enough though? I don't think that's enough. Nah, no, that's enough. All right, well, GG. All right, well, it happens. Return to details. Let's queue up for our next one. Let's update the record. Really not having a great night on these games. Well, let's see if we can go two and three. I'll be happy with a two and three. One and one and four, I won't be too happy with. Um, I wonder if. I mean, the deck's running okay. I don't, it's just, we've gone against two Galtas. Our first match wasn't amazing, but what are you going to do? Oh, we're going Gishath again. Oh, boy. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, no, yeah, we are. Okay. Oh, man. Well, I got a Sweltering Suns, which uh, means I'm going to keep this hand, I think. Um, and then I can Stone Quarry, Stone Quarry, Forest Plains, Kanjali Sunwing. Not a great start. But hopefully our opponent doesn't have a 1 or a 2 drop. There's normally not a ton, at least in mine. There's only two 1 drops, one of which is Commune. So maybe we'll get lucky there. Ooh, unfortunately don't have a way to cast Sweltering Suns, which is going to be a problem. But I think we'll we'll make it through. I feel like this Kinjali Sunwing for 3 is going to help us out. And then we'll go from there. All right. Well, that's an Evolving Wild, so that's a way to do it. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to crack... Uh, we're gonna go and get a mountain. Beautiful. 
full art mountain and then we're gonna pass the turn and then next turn i'll play kinjali's and i think i think we'll be in this one um i won't have enough much to play after that but hopefully we draw something nice and do they have a two drop a pillar of origins very nice okay that's fine i'm assuming they're choosing dinosaur uh, i suspect very nice and we'll go here all their stuff's getting under tapped which is nice uh, Register Alpha is not too bad. I can take that. Red, red. No, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? White, red, green. Kajali Sunwing. Get a nice little Thalia effect on a 2 3 flyer. And we'll see what's happening from here on out. Alright, Stone Quarry for our opponent. And they will play. A Naga Vitalist. Okay. That's fine. Then there's a play tapped. Not that they were probably going to do anything with it. So at least I'm going to get in with some free damage. Uh, let's commune first, I think. I could play a Galt of my own if I really wanted to. Um, two. So let's say we play Registrar next turn, which is what we're going to do. Four, seven, nine... The problem is we don't have enough... We actually... Oh no, we'll have enough green for Galta. Um, oh, I have to reveal it and put it in my hand. Oh, I reveal it. Okay, that's fine. Um, Thundering Spine back, we won't be able to play. Um, so that's fine. We'll take Galta, and then these can go to the bottom. I would have liked to keep the Beastery. It would have been nice. But, um... Can't keep them all, unfortunately. So let's Sunwing... Galta will at least be a nice threat. Um, keep our opponent on their toes. Uh, Registar is going to be nice too, um, just to get the extra three damage in next turn. Oh, plus it'll make their Gashath come into play tapped if they end up being able to cast it uh, before we hopefully kill them with Galta. Um, but we will see. Oh, they have a off of their own. Very nice. Oh, well, everything comes into play tapped though. Um, I think we're going to risk it. I think we're going to take enough damage. We're going to take some damage this coming turn to make it... Oh, but I could Dowsing Dagger. And get some extra mana. And then... So I'll have three mana. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That's enough to play Gashath on our next turn. But it's not great. I feel like the alpha's better because even if we swing in, I can still block the dino or the vital. They're not going to take with the vitalist. But at least I have blockers. And then I can play an early Galta. And then if I still want to try and get in the Gashaf, the turn I play Galta, I can play Dowsing. And, well, if I draw a land, I can do that. And then that will be enough. Because they don't have the mana. They only have five mana and they need eight. And we're there. I don't suspect they're gonna get there, so that might work. And Galt is a huge threat anyway, so yeah, I think that's a better play. Red, huh? Huh, 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 huh. All right, let's play our Registrar of our own. Same play. Let's swing. I think I'm actually gonna get in for the extra damage because if I'm able to get Galta out. Uh, unless they have a Galta, in which case we're going to have a really bad time playing effectively mirror matches, which is going to be very unfortunate. Um, I could Sweltering Suns, but I really like the Kinjali Sunwing. I don't think it's worth doing, um, but it's definitely something to think about. But I, don't th I, th I think Galta, unless they have a Galta, I think Galta is the best play, because there's no way they're going to get Gashath out now. Yeah, they're not playing Galta. <laughs> I don't know if that was a prayer or a, or a thing. I don't know. I hope they're not playing Galta. Lightning Strike, the Sunwing. That's fine. Okay. That's still not a problem, though, because I'm still going to have Galta. So that's fine. So what are they going to do next? Tap the Naga, tap Stone Quarry, tap Pillar, Wayward Swordtooth, that's fine. Can't attack or block, because they don't have the City's Blessing, which is fine. They're not going to attack either, smart. Um, 
So let's Sun Petal Grove. Wonder if we Galta and then Sweltering Suns. We could we could Galta for tw so twelve. That's they have nine. Oh, we need to Galta. Hmm. The problem isn't that Registar Alpha would stay alive. The problem is even if I kill that. Oh, that can't block. Oh, I don't have a problem at all. So I could Sweltering Suns. Destroy that, have Galta out. And then that will make him not have that, and then it'll just be Regisar. I think that's fine. I think that's good enough. Oh, he costs three more. I forgot. Man, my math's just off today. But that's fine. I can still do that. Um, let's play Galta. Because then I can just swing in with just Galta, and I'll still get a bunch of damage in. And then I can keep up these as blockers. Doubt he's going to be able to get City's Blessing unless he plays a land and a creature. Which, they might. But I don't know if that's actually going to happen, realistically. So we get in for 12. And then next turn... I don't have enough for Gashath, but I can Dowsing Dagger on Galta, swing in, and then, well, that's four, seven, eleven. They would have exactly enough if they tap Naga, but I still might be able to get two in, and that's all I need to flip it. And then the turn after, I would just be able to Gashath. So unless they do something to Galta this turn, I think... Oh, cast out on Galta, that's fine. Good play, good play. Alright. Okay. That's fine. I mean, we're just in a stalemate at this point anyway. So, it's not like they're going to swing or anything. And then, I can Carnage Tyrant, which is nice. Um, I could also... <laughs> I could also Thrashing Bronatodon and... <laughs> get my thing back. Yeah, that's definitely the play. Um, so let's Thrashing... God, what a good top draw. Um, let's sack, kill, ga cast out. Get, yeah, well, 40 play points. We went two and three. Uh, I cannot really complain about that. Um, really was hoping for um, a 3-2, but I will not complain. I'm actually gonna update the record right now. We went two and three. Cannot complain about that at all um i really like this deck list a whole lot like there's something unfortunately we didn't get to to cask a shaft um just yet during this league but this was really good in the sense of um this deck is really good in the sense of basically when you cast a shaft if they let you get in for like any significant amount of damage you're just going to be vomiting things from your hand and in all the test games I played, that was basically enough. Um, there are a couple things I've thought about putting in here that I haven't. Um, so Wayward Swordtooth is definitely one of them. I think the three drops we have now are kind of better. I think you could make a really good argument to get rid of Swordtooth for um, replace Ranging Raptors with Swordtooth. I think Ranging Raptors is kind of one of those blockers where people don't want to deal damage to it. But uh, Swordtooth, on the other hand, just lets you get an extra land. Um, so I definitely think you can make that argument. Temple Altasaur is nice. Um, I like it personally, but it's a little expensive for the deck. I mean, we have all the five drops we have tend to actually, you know, do something relatively significant. Like whenever this gets dealt damage, we get to exile something. Register Alpha gives us the four, four it's four, four body, the three, three in haste, 12 are dinosaurs. Um, Raging Swordblade comes in, deals one damage, to everything that can be useful. Fumigate is Fumigate. And then Huatli's good at five. So not something I think is super necessary. I've thought about running uh, Radiant Destiny in here. That'd be a nice little boost, especially the Vigilance would be good, but I don't know. Um, I'd have to look at some things I could cut. Um, Gift of Paradise has, hasn't been great, but it's been pretty good in terms of every once in a while it's useful. Um, again, Kanjali's Concert. I feel like Priest of the Awakening Sun is not as good as I would like it to be. I mean, obviously it lets you tutor, but typically if you're doing one drops, you probably want Kanjali's Concert 
anyway. So that actually might be better. I might make that change um, for the next time I decide to play this deck. Um, and then finally, Sorcerer's Spyglass I thought about putting in here. Um, we saw it on the Pirate Tribal list. Um, and I think what Sorcerer's Spyglass is going to be really good for is if the meta starts becoming Scorpion God decks or they become a little bit more prevalent. Um, obviously, it's good for any activated ability. But I've been seeing a lot of people say, you know, you're, you're probably going to want this in here just in case you end up going against a Scorpion God deck or a deck that can run Scorpion God, which all things considered the pirate deck can i don't know if they are actually running it though i i'm sure it's a d definitely tempting to do so um just because it'll it'll more or less shut it down though the likelihood of you you know going against it kind of depends on what you're playing and it feels like um in 1v1 it might not be great to put in though it's certainly useful i think it's a really useful card um and i thought about putting it in but i don't know the only thing i would probably cut is thematic compass for it um but then again you get the the maze of effect so i don't really know if i want to do that but um just things to think about i mean i think in multiplayer putting sorcerers might be better just because you're going against three decks instead of one um but I don't know. Um, so that's it um, for the stream for today. Just wanted to get our first stream kind of out there uh, into the world a little bit um, with some Gishath. I'll probably um, do another stream soon um, before next week. Uh, the original schedule was probably going to be something like um, a stream uh once a week and then a deck tech once a week or so um and the deck tech would be for whatever deck i ended up streaming later that week so i'm thinking maybe monday is going to be deck techs and wednesday is going to be streams but it might end up being like a tuesday thursday thing so we'll have to see um but thank you, everybody, uh, who came onto the Twitch chat and decided to view my my live stream. I really appreciate it. And thank you also to anybody who's who's watching this on YouTube afterwards. I'm going to be uploading uh, the replay for those of you who are in the Twitch chat. So thank you to you as well for tuning in. And I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Thanks again. <laughs>